Comes to us from NBC9 News. Thank you, Tasman, for bringing this to my attention. Out of Loveland, Colorado, body camera footage shows a Loveland police sergeant dismissing the excessive force concerns of a citizen who witnessed the arrest of Kevin, uh, Karen Garner. This was a witness. The video recorded on the camera worn by Loveland Police Sergeant Phil Metzler was released today, that's Tuesday, by the attorney representing Garner's family who also accuses Metzler of attempting to delete the video. Gar he was uh, accused by the attorney of that. Garner, remember the elderly woman with dementia who was arrested in June of 2020 after she was accused of stealing from a Walmart store. Um, and she probably did steal, but she had dementia. That's what dementia patients do. They pick up stuff and they walk off. I'm going home. By now, countless people have seen the disturbing video. Loveland police officers Austin Hopp and Daria Jalali forcing Karen Garner to the ground and handcuffing her behind her back. No, 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 no on the ground. Stay on the ground. But until now, you know few people have seen from? this. Do you know what crime she's committed? The body camera video of Sergeant Phil Metzler, the supervisor who responded to the scene. The video shows a man talking to Metzler after he witnessed police arresting Garner. And I see him walking and then I see him throwing it to the ground. That person wasn't even running or anything. I was like, that's not okay, you know? The incident was not publicly reported until April of this year after attorney Sarah Schilke filed a lawsuit. I may have messed up your name, but Sarah, you're awesome. You rock. It was at that time that Loveland Police Chief Bob Tyser said they were made, uh, made aware of the excessive force allegations. Since then, the three employees involved in the arrest or booking of Garner have been fired. That's Austin Hopp. Daria Jalali, and the community service officer, Tyler Blackett. Now they need to include Phil Metzler for dismissing this witness's concerns. He didn't even take a statement. Messer also responded to the scene that day, but remains with the department. On Tuesday, that's today, Sarah Schilke released footage from his body-worn camera, which shows his interaction with a witness to the arrest of Karen Garner. The man repeats his concerns several times during the four-minute video. The fact, you know, by seeing it here, she wasn't running. But Metzler appears unmoved. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. She committed a crime. Saying the man didn't know what he saw and cautioning him to stay out of situations involving law enforcement. If you commit a crime, if you go and steal something and you run from me and you taught and you resist, then you'll get taken to the ground too. I know. It makes my blood boil just I, as a citizen up here seeing a police officer treat somebody like that. Sarah Shelke, Karen Garner's lawyer, said she released Metzler's body camera video to shine a light on the lack of supervision at Loveland Police. So you may think you're defending her, but she's the one that committed the crime. Sarah Shilke also released a so-called blue report which is used to report an excessive force incident. In the report, Messler says he reviewed photos and body-worn camera video and believed the use of force was within policy. Sergeant said it was within policy to pop an old woman's shoulder and then put her in the jail and leave her there with a dislocated shoulder. That's within policy, according to Sergeant Phil Metzler. Let's say his name, Phil Metzler. She also released the use of force report that was written after Garner's arrest, a report that appears to have been reviewed and approved by several supervisors, among them Loveland Police Chief Ray Butler, who, according to the document, called Garner's arrest necessary, reasonable, and within policy. He said the minor force that was used was reasonable and appropriate. He also wrote the suspect Garner received minor scrapes from being taken to the ground and cuffed. Her shoulder popped. In fact, Jalali and what is his name, Hop, uh, Austin Hop, were laughing about it. And Austin says on the security camera of the jail, watch this, here it comes, pop, ooh. But Phil Metzler missed that, right? The sergeant, he missed that. He, he, hey, Sarge, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? As it plays, and then he misses it, right? Oh, oh, well, I've got to get back to the video. Hold on. Come on. How the hell do you miss that? They were laughing when her shoulder popped. He didn't get that? He didn't catch that? He says he reviewed the body camera footage. Seeing this many ops, this many chain of command members 
watch the video and still not be like, whoa, you know, on the ground. not seeing what the rest of us are seeing. Why are you doing this? Um, it's scary. But the report also indicates that Loveland's assistant police of chief Ray Butler reviewed all the body camera footage and photos on August 10th of 2020 and found the force was necessary, reasonable, and within policy. Sounds like they just need to clean out the whole police department, fire everybody from corporal up to chief, and rehire people. So what it sounds like to me, chief, you need to go. Assistant, so Bob Tyser needs to go, Ray Butler needs to go, Phil Metzler needs to go, and any other person with stripes on their sleeve needs to go. Do you agree or not agree? Let me know in the comment section below.